Hello, hello, with Dangan Ropa 2, Goodbye Despair. Um, this is probably gonna be a shorter set, I would say. I would imagine it's gonna be, but we will see. I mean, we'll see where I uh, get carried off with this one here. Okay. So actually, I'm sure I got this right. Oh no, wait, that's not where I wanted to look. Report card. There we go, yeah. So we have Gundam and Sonya, never mind. I guess if there is an opportunity, Soda. I could try for Soda next, depending. But okay, I think last time he said we need to leave, so yes, let's leave. Hi, you're uh, you're just waiting here, huh? <sighs> Not everyone is as strong as Byakuya. I've never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just ran away from my problems, but it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I was being too negative. No, I understand. I'm the same as well. But... But now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Okay, I felt like I was just coming into the middle of a conversation, but yes. Alright. It's a good conversation. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this is well make us cling to hope. Yeah, you're probably right. Bye now! Well, I'll be heading to the restaurant now. Okay. Oh, what? You can... I don't know if it actually showed them walking away, but you can see him fade off. I'm assuming that was him. Alright, let's talk to other people before we enter the premises. I really gotta know your name besides calling you camera girl in my head. Uh, Mahiru. Mahiru Koizumi. Hey. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with the sullen face? Hmm. Oh, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. And just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea. And invite some people to come chat with me. Got it! Uh, just so you know, it's gonna be a, a girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. I'll go on ahead. You better hurry and go to the restaurant. I'm just wondering if everyone's. Jeez! I'm so sleepy. Mr. Hamhands is so selfish. It's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in. But if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Huh? Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Um... Eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Don't worry, Mikan. Like, literally, all of cereal is like that. At least here in North America. I don't know about anywhere else. <laughs> hey! Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> Jeez, listening to this ugly bitch's crying in the morning makes me so sick. Yoko, you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. You are right, Mikan? Uh, hello! Good morning. 
Yeah, good morning. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, okay, that's what I just said good morning. <laughs> what is it? I just said good morning. Why is she, why is she so shocked? <laughs> My first time greeting someone and I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning? <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> what kind of life has she had? Oh wait, you're still here? <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, that ends there. Okay, uh, let's... Oh no, 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 no. Let's look at the map. Everyone else is... That's where we need to be. Yeah, no one's anywhere else. Sorry, I just had to like ah uh, make sure of that. Okay. Oh good. Tab. To the restaurant we go. Everyone here? Okay, some people are here. Several people were already at the restaurant. <laughs> but nobody was talking. Not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. I've made you wait. Yeah, I was about to say, you're the leader. Shouldn't you be here first? Shouldn't you set the example, sir? Anyway, is everyone here? Huh? Seems Fuhiko's not here yet. <laughs> maybe he got he maybe he already got killed. <laughs> Dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Fuhiko, Fuhiko. Sorry, I'm trying to remember who that is. That's that's the this the gangster guy. Okay. Why does he have to act like a lone wolf? At a time like this. Maybe. Could he is he thinking of a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not! Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party tonight. Okay, okay, huh? Yeah, huh? <laughs> uh, a party? That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party till the sun comes up. This is your leader's order. Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. <laughs> On the contrary, there is no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait! Um, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey! In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> that's why you thought that. That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You fiend! <laughs> right, what's this place again? You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. It's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But... Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I'm sorry! I'm terribly sorry. I'm so, so sorry for trying to meddle with your plans. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. 
Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard. Ah, in that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Hmm. Where there, where's the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space, okay? Why would that keep him? Why would that, why wouldn't, I'm sorry, what, what are you talking about? I don't know if a door is exactly, <laughs> where? Um, an enclosed space? How pitiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Um. Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. Mm-hmm. But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then the cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stop drooling. Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the woman only train and drag. I feel so lucky. There's something wrong with you. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out <laughs> I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be perverted, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey! Then, how about the old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That run down place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However. Indeed. However, Monomi has forbidden us from entering that old place. Uh, hello? No, the stream just started 13 minutes ago, so basically... Everyone, they're having a party. Byakuya wants to throw a party. This is what the discussion is now. Where are we gonna have this party? <laughs> um, anyway, Peko, um, as I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. <laughs> I have heard your conversation, heard it all with my very own ears. Hmm. <laughs> I have good ears because I'm a rabbit. I see. Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Uh? Hmm. Then what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? <laughs> Hello! Ah, oh, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, it is of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes. If it, if it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it. So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll, I'll cooperate so we can all party together. Man, my tongue is... Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I should have done some uh, vocal <laughs> work before this. <laughs> Together? That's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Understand? You do yourself a favor and stay away from yours. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> oh, your kind words make me wanna cry. Um. So we're all good with the old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Wow! I've never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey! No way! There's no way, there's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Huh? Yeah, I don't want to do it either. Sheesh! What? Nobody's going to do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by random drawing? Random drawing. Random draw. Random drawing? I feel like... What? Random drawing. I feel like just saying random draw would be better, but... Actually... To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. Oh, aren't you just... <laughs> Clipper you, look at you go. <laughs> To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? 
Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? JUDGMENT! Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing. All right! Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everybody took turns pulling the chopsticks the Nag Nag Nagito held in his hands. Sorry, how many people are cleaning the place? One person? Three people? Did you say? And when it was all said and done... What? Huh? I'm left with the red... the red mark? <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Well... I guess it can't be helped. Alright! Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Okay! I'll handle the cooking. Alright, first I need to prepare my ingredients, and then I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. I, Teruteru Hanamura, will go all out. I'll prepare the world's tastiest dish for you all. Then... Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. So honestly, like... I think it's quite obvious that his Byakuya's plan here is if you keep, keep everyone in one place, everyone has their eyes on each other, people can't go murdering each other. But, you know, we'll see how this works out. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the co to the cottage. Okay. There's still some time before the party. There is no way I can spend it staring into space in my room. Is it free time? Yeah. Because there's no classroom, so... There's no class, so... Well, since I have some free time, it'd be better if I went and talked to everyone. Okay. So... AKA, who do you think is gonna die? Hey, alright, so I said I'll talk to Soda. Because we have the coconut. We can give him the coconut. <laughs> also, I, want, I need to check on the pet. Uh, pet's fine. Okay, let's have a rehash of what our presents are. Okay, we do have the coffee for Biakia, that's an option. I have really have no idea. Some, something, someone who needs to feel relaxed. So the only person I can think of right now is um, the nurse girl, the nervous one. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Yeah. Sunflower seeds, the coconut. This just because he talked about getting coconuts on the beach and everything. Uh, safety half shoes. Keep your toes safe. Spectre ring. We already gave that to the, the girl. Seven important... These seven important mathematical problems were closed by Plan Mathematics. We have two of these, and one of them is like, she likes things in black, right? Okay, hold on. I really, it's like, I'm, I guess the game, who's gonna die? Hey, okay. So I know Byakuya, I literally just remember this from the previous playthrough. Not the pre previous playthrough, the first game of Danganronpa, where he, he went eight, he, he went crazy for coffee. Um... I don't know if I have anything for him. I do know I have something for the gamer girl. Well, she likes games. She dislikes alarm clocks. But someone else also... I think it was her. Yeah, she she liked gaming as well. Walking, napping, gaming. Um, black. She likes the color black, so she could possibly go for that book. Traveling alone. She actually might be a very difficult one in terms of getting presents for her because I have no idea what the hell to possibly give her. Squishy Squish. I mean, she, we know she, just from her behavior, we know we, she likes torturing things. 
She hates lectures, hates sour stuff, okay? Sour plums, culture pan, games, fighting meat, fried dough cookies. So if we get that, we can give it to uh, Fuyuhiko. I also have to remember, because based from the, the first game as well, because technically, I'm so used to, you know, in Asian cultures, it's last name first and then first name, but then I think in the, in the English versions, they will flip it so the first name is first, I'm assuming. It's hard to say. Teru Teru, he likes mama. Okay, but he hates junk food, so we know that. Likes Coke. We don't have any more... Ooh. Sugar-free anything. So we... We want the... There's actually one thing... Let's, want, there's one thing I do want to check out. Um, unfortunately, I spent all my coins, so I don't know... I do want to check out the vending machine. Because there's two places that we can get gifts, right? There was the... Here we go. In the supermarket, there was the vending machine here, but I don't know... Because... Let's just call it the pachinko thing. I don't know what else to call it. He's right here, too. I just want to see. Ah, here we go. Okay. Okay. Interesting. This one, okay, so I mean, obviously, there we are preset coin amounts. Man, that. So we actually have this replica sword, toy camera, <laughs> tissue. <laughs> oh, Terry, Terry, we want that? This thing again. Ghost stones, tips and tips, second edition. Sunflower seeds, potato chips, cod row baguette, chocolate chip. Okay, so there's no uh, there's no soft drinks from what I can see. Ah, uh, damn it! Keep doing that. Okay, well. I guess we're not going to get coins at this point since we already spent them all. Can I? With this much so that even the ultimate fanfic creator would quench his thirst. Oh, why is the... It's off on the side. Okay. I think later I'm going to have to check my settings though. I don't know. I didn't change them so I don't know why it's like that. Okay, um, Kazuichi, let's share some coconut. Man. Man, everyone on this island has a colorful personality. Well... I personally think Gundam and Teru Teru are the most colorful so, colorful so far. But what do you think? Invite. <laughs> As dudes who aren't all that interesting, let's get along. That's obviously wrong! Hey, wait, I'm actually very interesting, you know? <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, it's like a compliment, but also you're. Not compliment, it's, it's a. Well, I was about to say insult, but it's not that harsh a thing, in my opinion. Anyway, I spent time with Kazuichi today while he kept putting his foot in his mouth. Okay. Looks like Kazuichi and I grew closer today. Definitely. Let's give him the coconut. I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Here they are. Oh, here they are. The hard shell fruit from a coconut tree not only is it edible, it can also be used for several purposes such as crafting musical instruments. Huh? Oh, you're going to give me that? <laughs> it's like, whatever, but oh well, at least it's free. Man. But you said you wanted to enjoy coconuts on the beach. <laughs> Why did this happen? We're on a tropical island, you know, surrounded by a blue sea, you know? There's plenty of ladies here too, so why do we have to... 
be involved in all this killing nonsense. Although Kazuichi's intentions are probably not pure, I agree with what he's saying. If this is a normal school trip, it would have been really fun. Ah. Man, and here I thought I was finally going to go on a school trip for the very first time. First time? Didn't you go on one during middle school? <laughs> I was supposed to, <laughs> but I ditched it. I, um, faked being sick and stayed home. Hmm. Uh, well, I had a lot of reasons, but my family is really poor. My classmates were pretty much a bunch of boring turds, so I was like, who cares if I don't go to school? Well... My old man found a later and beat the crap out of me. Well, obviously a parent would be mad about that. But sometimes I got yelled at for teaching school events like during elementary and middle school, too. Hey! My damn old man. He knew better than anyone that we didn't have any money. <laughs> we ran the bike shop at my place, but it's seriously hard to sell bicycles these days. The only customers we get now just need a flat tire fixed or air pumped. <laughs> but yeah, despite that, I'm the genius mechanic of my family. I can take a look I can take a look if a bike or car needs fixing, and I can fix anything from kids' toys to household appliances. I and mean, he's still talking to us, so. I guess it's not that bad, it's just not like the, I guess the ultimate item, or whatever. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Of course! Well, I've been surrounded by junk food, junk and tools ever since I was born. So I just have a habit of taking things apart and putting them back together. I see, so that's what the environment, the ultimate mechanic was raised in. Hey! My old man is just hopeless though. So I'm... Um, Always the one who's helping out at the shop. In fact, to tell you the truth, I was really excited when we first arrived at this island. Everyone here has pretty colorful pers personalities, but they all seem like it. But they all seem like interesting people. <laughs> I was really looking forward to enjoying my youthful days here until all this crap happened. Ah. <laughs> Damn it. It's my dream, you know? I've always wanted to go on a trip with my friends and stuff. Man... Oh wait, we're not close enough yet to call each other friends, huh? Um, I don't know when people suddenly decide they're friends or not. But since we seem to have the same goal, maybe we can at least call each other comrades. Hmm... Comrades, huh? <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to working with you, comrade. Kazuichi extended his hand and I gripped it. I tried to let go, but for some reason, Kaz Kazuichi was glaring at me and... So Hajime, who are you aiming for? Uh, what are you talking about? You know, right? Isn't it obvious? I'm talking about the ladies! Depending on your answer, the alarm clock in your room may be modified into a time bomb. Okay, what? <laughs> Not a joke to be making at this time. Murder? There's a lot of murders gonna be happening. <laughs> If you have time to make something like that, you should spend it actually being productive. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that he's able to think about that kind of stuff at a time like this. But despite his looks, Kazuichi seems like a pretty normal guy. I learned a little bit about Kazuichi today. Okay, so it wasn't like the big item. Obviously, the big item would be cola for him since that was his likes, but... We learn. We still learn more about him, and uh, he didn't hate us. So, <laughs> after Kazuichi was finished hammering me with questions, I was finally released. Okay. So, Byakuya. There's still some time left. I feel restless. Maybe I should go for a walk. Okay. I'm gonna have to assume it's the same thing of two. So. I don't know, I'm tempted to just, because we need to walk anyway. You know what, I will look. Where is Byakia? Some people are in their rooms. Okay. Okay, no one's in the... I think that's Byakia. So he's he's also in this market now? They're both <laughs> whatever, okay, fine. Okay. He's in the market, so 
but... I don't know, do I take the scenic route? We need to get those steps in, guys. <laughs> Our pet needs to grow. So I know the supermarket is the other way. I want to just double check here. I know I didn't find one of those doll dolls, but let's just have another look. Oh, you guys are here. Hi, hi. Not who I'm looking for, though. Okay, no. Don't see anything hiding behind anyone. Of course, you would always be here. God damn it, I keep doing that. I always want to hit escape, but it's R. Okay, oh yeah, you guys are just standing in, standing out, enjoying the sun. Beach, she's there. Okay, sorry, doing this to check my pet. Okay, that's fine. I really need to... Have I tried giving a present yet? Okay, now we're at the supermarket. Okay, well... <laughs> tried to get a little bit of a head in the steps. It wasn't actually as long as I thought it would be. I really don't think it's another one's gonna show up until we can either get to another island or we get coins after the the first murder takes place. <laughs> the first trial, I should say. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've got some coffee for you. <laughs> despite the fact that, despite the fact that, despite the fact. Oh wait, wait, hold. Oh, damn. Wait, hold on. I'm just, uh, looking at his report card. Let's say, Tagami... Affluent progeny, okay. Hopefully he did not give any other information <laughs> that was pertinent. Despite the fact they were prepared for the party, I shall enjoy Teteru, Teru Teru's dishes as well. Does the ultimate cook skill surpass that of the Tagami Corporation chef? What should I do? Should I invite Byakuya to hang out? Hmm. So you're interested in the dishes prepared by my company's personal chef? Let me tell you about them. Yes, this is exactly what I came here for. I was forced to listen to Byakuya speak at length about the various dishes he's eaten. Looks like Byakuya let me get a little closer to him. Definitely. Kohi, Kohi. You've actually shaken me quite a bit. In a way, I think better of you. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Was that a good thing or a bad thing? Huh? Me? I don't really mind, but. There's something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. Listen. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? Do you even know, Hajime? Well, I, yeah, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked out before. What? I've never had it checked before. This can't be! Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> I swear. This is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just looking, just by looking at you, I'd say that you're a 9. No, maybe an 8. <laughs> Regardless, it's probably, probably around one digit. <laughs> Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. I see. <laughs> anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is. Yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there is no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? <laughs> What's with that face? 
Nothing, I just nothing. I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. <laughs> How foolish. Do you really think I'd get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name of my family. As long as Byakuya Togami is in charge, you will all know peace. I see. This personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> The Togami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. Hmm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there is anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. Just saying that, Byakuya gallantly sto st strolled away. He was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to, I got to know a little bit about Byakuya. Okay. So, okay. Side to return to my room. Is it night time yet? Well, looks like it's night time. Yep. Hold on. So... Yeah, we... So we have that. Dull kitchen knife. Masterpiece. The sheath, but the sheath, sheath, but not the sword itself. Marine snow. Okay. Sorry, I just like need to take a look at some what other. I mean, we're gonna see. Okay, so that obviously the coffee was not the the ultimate present we can give him. His presence is overwhelming. He exudes self-confidence. He's a very condescending man. But he doesn't seem like a bad person. Okay. Okay, nighttime. Ahem! Da -da. Hope speed. It is now. Please yeah. return to your now bin, sweet. Good night, he says. Whatever. I have a party to attend. Alright, time to go to the old building by the hotel. I keep expecting, I don't know why. It's not like these presents are gonna these these guys are gonna show up again. Will they show up in the same place twice? That's my question. Just having a look at who else is around. Oh my! Oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Terry Terry's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Okay. Oh, it's like dark up ahead. It's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, I'll do my best not to be in the way. So it's fine if I stay here, hey? Are you really worried about something like that? Oh, oh yes. Actually, before. 
I just want to see if anyone's inside here. No. Into the restaurant. You got anything? Okay, so he's already gone. Good to know. Alright, there's... <laughs> it's about to say, wait, where'd you go? Becco! I let for you Hiko know about the party, but... You didn't look too pleased about it. Okay. Oh, what's this? This is always a uh, store, always here. I'm trying to remember, actually. I don't recall. Let's go on. Let's see what this building looks like. So, this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wear. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Just checking weapons. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Because I need to do a body check. A body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Byakia went ahead and threw the search to me, starting with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Um, it was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Byakia was standing. Metal cases? What? I'm sorry, what? Duralumin? Duralumin? <laughs> You're a lumen, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for... <laughs> well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean, emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are... Their others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Yakia turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but he's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. And what did he mean by emergencies only? But I want to look around. Is there anything? No? Okay. Disappointed. Disappointed. Still disappointed. An office. I see you, I see you! Uh, I've been found! There's our coins. There's our money. The desk. Is this, is this the desk the staff use for busy work? What do you mean by busy work? It looks like it's dusty. It's better if I don't touch it. More importantly, I should hurry over to the dining room. I know, but the murder takes place. We need to know. We need to know this area. This is the remote control for the air conditioner. I wonder if the filter is clean. Well, more importantly, I should... Okay, fine. You know what? If you continue saying that, I'm not going to say anything. This, that's a circuit breaker. Why is it all the way up there? How is anyone supposed to reach it? Ain't gonna say that. I'm not gonna say it. I know you have a party to attend. But we gotta make sure we know this area. Murder's gonna happen. I gotta know something moved. Okay, well that's a washroom. Oh. <sighs> okay, unisex washroom. Blah 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 blah. What the hell is happening here? This is the dining hall, so let's not go there yet. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Oh, what? Hello? No? Don't want to say... Kitchen? Storage 
room. Okay, why is everyone just around? Laundry hamper. This is the laundry hamper. It looks like you can put dirty clothes in here. Should... <laughs> There's a tablecloth. Stack some clean tablecloths. It looks like they have been used. There's a boxes here. There's a jumbled mass of stuff all stacked together. It doesn't look very organized. Irons. Please don't tell me someone's gonna get brained with an iron. Were they used to prepare the tablecloth? If so, why do you need three? Okay, there's three of them. Make notes, there are three irons. I don't see. I'm hoping. Okay, yeah, I don't see a. I don't see a doll, unfortunately. I'm like trying to look between the stacks here. But I don't think that's gonna be. I don't know if that's going even going to be possible if we can click on that. Okay. Leave the storage room. Talk to Sonia. Check out the kitchen. Probably Terry ter 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 in there. I see. I see. So this is what the inside looks like. There are so many gaps in the wooden floor. Is that because it is so old? All right. I must tread carefully so my feet do not stumble. My adventurous heart is pounding with excitement. I guess when you're a princess, even little things seem exciting. Okay. Kitchen? Let's have a chat. Hello there. Oh, did you need something? Don't worry. I've already prepared all the dishes. Or rather, did you want me to cook you up, too? Um, what does that even mean? <laughs> okay, sir. Hey, did you find a doll in here? Equipment list. This is the kitchen's equipment list. It details where each item is supposed to go. Interesting. But more importantly, I... Yes, I know. We need to get to the dining hall. I don't need to- Listen, let me explore, okay? Please, just let me explore. It's a nice set. I never knew there were so many different types of knives. I don't know anything about knives, but Teru Teru probably knows what each knife is used for. Well, more importantly... Ah, ah, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> There, there are a lot of different types of dishes. But this meat on the bone looks like something a caveman would eat. Where do you even get something like this? You know, I'm actually curious, because it's always like drawn like that. I just want to like, somehow eat. <laughs> like, have it look like that. Be able to eat it. Even though, I'm sure it looks strange in real life. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay, so really all that's in here is, because otherwise it's just the surveillance cameras. Yeah. I don't see a doll, I'm like trying to see between everything. Alright. So. Last person to talk to outside here is, uh, Neko. Oh? Nekomaru. There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Sheesh! However, back here, I will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. Okay, everyone's telling me to head to the dining hall. Yeah, I'm literally looking for the the, the bears, the dolls on top of the bears. We've made it to the dining hall. <laughs> ha! Hajime, how do you like it? What do you mean? See? I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. I brought it from the supermarket. 
That place sure does seem to have everything. <laughs> I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. <sighs> there was a lot of dust and cobweb, cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Alright. Gross! That creep Yakia rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys, too. <laughs> so, I feel like he's getting frisky while he... So, oh wait, sorry. So, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisky me. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... we got to do something about it. You're right, we should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Huh, I wonder. Mm. I wonder. <laughs> so we're on the same page then. I'm not sure I understand. Hmm. This old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboard. Maybe the wood shrank because of the de deterioration? Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? Right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey! But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. Maybe we should give her those shoes. <laughs> It's nice that there's an air conditioner, but the filter might need to be cleaned. Okay. Let's just continue talking to people. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I tried talking to people. She 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 wants to stuff her face. Hey, what's up? It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Ah. Uh. So uncomfortable. Getting broke so thoroughly by man. That was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean by you mean the body check? How annoying! Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. But Yaki, I put it in that Duralum case of his. Aw oh, man. <sighs> Good instincts. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Okay. The other thing is okay, like iron plates. Yes, finally, we can actually iron plates. That reminds me, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted into the walls? How pitiful. All is not what it appears to be. Huh? Stay back! One of my four devas, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Through that iron plate appears to be bolted. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? Let me tell you this. There are no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my domain. Sandy, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history! Such a fine day. Countless lives gasp in their first breath, and countless more go the way of all flesh. Guess he doesn't know. 
Well, this building is in the middle of renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but this place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent pro protagonist ring throughout- wait. <laughs> ultimate affluent protagonist ring throughout the dining hall? I've made you wait. <laughs> okay. Was that, was that a typo, typo or is that like... Thank you for waiting. <laughs> Teru Teru is in the kitchen, and it appears Yuhiko did not come. I apologize. I didn't inform him about the party, but... Jeez! It's not like you need to apologize, Pekko. It's his fault for not coming. <laughs> I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but... It's fine. If just one person's absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. You won't be able to do anything. Hmm? What do you mean by that? What? More importantly... Hmm? Come on! Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Byakia's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Not possible. Dangerous. As he stomped away, his... As he stomped his way toward the table... Hey, what are you doing? You're hogging all the food! Not fair! No, I'm not! I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out! I'm telling you, I'm not... Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat! And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? Mm hmm? It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Huh? Huh? Some messy eater ruined my arrangement. <laughs> who made this... What do you mean who made this dish? There's only one person cooking. You already know who's cooking. Um... That would be me? Um... Are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. Dangerous? That... Oh, I have no idea what... <laughs> that churrasco is a South American meal where you stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it. Mm-hmm. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Iron skewers aren't allowed either? <laughs> if that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me, I need your help. Wait, wait, why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Byakia's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Okay. What do you want? Let's go. Alright, this is the kitchen. You have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items. It's a kitchen! There, there are gonna be knives! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Byakuya stomped... I mean, for all I know, he may have never stepped into a kitchen because he's so rich that the cooks cook for him anyway, right? Byakuya stomped into the kitchen, and I followed after him. Listen. Let's get on with it then. Search this place through. As he issued that order, Byakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me those two. Naturally. Those are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. I don't know, what happens if you like stab a chopstick into someone's eye or something? Or their neck. I feel like almost anything could be a weapon if you really want to put your heart into it. After he said that, Byakuya threw the forks and knives into the Duralim case, one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. I mean, I still see this mindset here. What do you mean you threw the knives away? Don't lie. What? 
Okay, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> Becky, I grabbed the knife from my hand and threw. I thought you already took the knives. And it actually disappeared. Oh my god. Amazing. Okay. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes, too. There's even a. Okay. I see. Seems there are no dangerous items. Like that skewer in the churrasco earlier. Inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. That appears to be the case. Whew, I wouldn't have known what to do if you said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Um. Actually, yeah. Um, the speaker. I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons. Five iron skewers, we've only found three. Three frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. It's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. What do you mean the skewers? What do you mean by one? You only found three, right? Because there is only three. Hold on, let me see again. First knives. Yeah, five iron skewers. Was there four? I thought you said there was like. I, well, I saw him holding three. Maybe that's why I just assumed. Very sh it's just a repetition. Okay, I guess maybe we just talk to him. Hey, is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fill, fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. Can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been distress I've been the distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit of it. Hmm. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Byakia has a past he can't talk about? Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all cost. Uh, by the way, that past you mentioned. That's enough. Now is not the time. However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now, because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Such silly talk. Hey, enough of that unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works us hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. <gasps> The kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? There are no knives or forks? Why? Uh, how come? Don't make me repeat myself. I literally 
just said that I removed all the dangerous items. You're kidding, right? Don't tell me you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items. No, 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 no. Well, most of my dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but... But, but still... Hajime! Stop, stop it, get off me! Eh? Not into that sort of thing. Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. Hmm. No matter. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? It's been missing all along. We can't really do anything about it, right? If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? <laughs> You're right. There's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. I mean, the floorboards. There's gaps between the floorboards, right? Very well. All I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. Alright, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. Or hell, there's a carpet. You too, Teru Teru. Come to the dining hall for now. Ah! Uh, <laughs> okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. <gasps> They're finally back. Hey, hey! Hey, let's get... Let's eat already. I'm starving. Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Lies! <laughs> an issue? Alright! Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word and I'll do it for ya. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this Derulunan case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Can't we just leave it here? Hmm. I've already put the lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely keep we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um Someplace safe? Oh, there's a storage room at the back of, of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then... Then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Huh? Who? Who? <sighs> I'll do it, of course. Uh... <laughs> Are you sure? I guess if you insist. Just kidding. Aww. It'll be lonely there for there by yourself. I don't mind. I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. I'm sorry, haven't you been around us for the entirety of this time? <laughs> if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However, Teru Teru has gone to the trouble of cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay! Yeah, that's totally fine. But... But if you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Huh? Why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. <laughs> also, I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your... bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard in the office? If I recall correctly, there is also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight. Have fun tonight, everyone. Taking her, taking with her the, I hate this word, taking with her the Daru, da, da, Darulam, Durbal, Darulaman, Daraluman, taking with her the Duraluman case and a plate piled of food. Peko left the dining hall. I see, I see. Hmm, so Peko's back at, so seeing Peko's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool, melancholy vibe. Huh? 
<laughs> but shouldn't she have taken the other case with her too? <laughs> this? No, this case is fine. That's weird. <laughs> no fair. You're like the only one who's got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This Thruluminen case stays with me at all times. I put the key to the other case in here as well. Don't tell them that. <laughs> Why are you telling them that? I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. <sighs> More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party? Stop talking. No, there's still more. I'm gonna do it! Uh, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already. Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about- That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt this party. I'll show you my serious All side! Right. So you'll let me- So let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on! Wait a second. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just going to end up perforated. Move! Can you tell me to wait till I starve to death? Hey! S starve to death? It's a little extreme. <laughs> Our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey! I'll do something about it. What? Do something. You? Hey, hey! Hey now, what can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger? Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't? <laughs> do you intend to utilize Monomi? Yep. Yeah. If I can talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least, that's what I think. <gasps> oh, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. Oh! Plus, Monami and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> well, that's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But will you really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. What's this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. <sighs> yeah, so it's all settled, right? Then we can. Then can we? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's begin. <coughs> all right. Fine. So the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> <laughs> you better keep me entertained. And with that, the party started. I'm going to take a drink of my tea here. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. Whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Oh, you know the voice actor was having so much fun saying those lines. <laughs> well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. There's literally just a banana on the table. That is what I cook. The world's tastiest dishes. <laughs> That's rather scary. You're not eating? Well, then I'm gonna eat all this by myself! Come. I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey, everyone! While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful! Please do! This feels weird. 
When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now, it feels reassuring. We're, actu we're actually friends who fight together. Friends who developed a sense of unity. Mm. Um, Nakomaru, did something happen? The party's just started, but I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me! Don't stop me, Byakia. There comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. There's no bathroom in here, is there? I don't know if I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. Sure! <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man! <laughs> Sorry. I know the way, so that was really weird, but I just had to say it that way. Uh, Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man! So he was talking about the toilet. What? If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? <coughs> I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? <coughs> what now? Impossible! My hellhound earring has disappeared. It vanished into subspace. <coughs> Calm down, we probably just dropped it somewhere. Sure! <laughs> I don't want to say it. No. Quiet! Shut up, don't you dare! <laughs> hey, is it really alright if I eat all this? What did you say? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Hey, Pihakia, come on, everyone, come on. I'm going to take a picture. Say cheese! Alright, say just cheese! Just kidding! Just kidding, what do you mean just kidding? <laughs> hey, why can't you all act a little more mature? What? What was that sound just now? The lights went off, so someone turned, flipped off the circuit breaker. Huh? It's dark all of a sudden. <gasps> Blackout? A, a blackout? Hey, I can't see anything! In that instant, as we stumbled around in the darkness, our fear swallowed up. Swallowed us up with the flood. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! The sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, and were immediately swallowed up by another sound. A everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Okay, no one's dead yet? <laughs> no one in this room? At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <coughs> oh no. Mikan's appearance had been compromised. Never mind. <laughs> she tripped. What in the world? Uh, I'm sorry! I tripped again! Okay, we're gonna need you to get you those safety safety shoes. S seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Obviously a fan service moment. Ah, no! Please don't! Please don't look at me! <laughs> I can't take this at all! My hero! It's time to snatch some shots! <laughs> there, there's no way I can do that! <laughs> Please forgive me! 
Just forgive me already! Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. Be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad. The lights are back on here, too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi. You were unusually useful this time. Hey! Well, no. I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you stupid? Don't who knows me. You're so useless. <laughs> it's not my fault, no. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my! What happened? Did something happen? Um... No, Byakia's missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Uh, Byakia? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Byakia, who promised he would lead us in the situation in situations like this was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere? During the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey! I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room so I can ask you to check the entrance. So can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, got it. For now. And uh, I guess I'll go look in the office. Then? Shall I go look around the hallway? Um, oh, um, dear, um, dear. Since I'm kind of in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on? Mm. I... I must... Bathroom. Sure! <laughs> I must man up and check the bathroom. I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez! Jeez, Mr. Ham Hands ran away just because there was an itty bitty blackout. That's <laughs> <laughs> such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. And so, where did Byakia go? Um, I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiakia Chiaki was there. Don't tell me she was the first one worried. More G to go to the bathroom. What are you doing? Weren't you gonna use the bathroom? Damn it! Yes, but it appears someone else is using it. And the door has been shut since before the party even started. Oh no, it's. What are the chances for Hiko? Fool! Damn you! The bathroom is for everyone! How dare you hog it! Someone's been using the bathroom since before the party even started? <laughs> What's it look like? No matter how many times I check, it never seems to be open. Sure! This is bad! Oh sh shit! I'm gonna shit it! What? The more I try holding it in, the more it wants to come out. Uh, hold, hold, hold it in. Come on, you can do it. Even so, that's a long time to be in the bathroom. Who's in there? If they've been in there since before the party started, it can't be Byakia. Did he go? Where's Chiaki? Um... I've searched the hallway, but there's no sign of Byakia. Where'd he go? Is he outside? I haven't looked yet, I'll go check. Am I checking? Okay, so like when he said the entrance, he meant outside entrance. Oh, Monami. Chiaki and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Hachime, what about the party? Oh! Uh, uh, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakia pass by here? Nope. Byakia? Nope, I didn't. What happened to Byakia? 
There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... No, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think... That's what I think. Oh, whoa, well, we just straight in here, huh? Hey. Hey, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, when I went, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. That's... It's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Hmm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange, no? Nobody was in the office? That's weird! Uh, what about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey! Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Pekko's gone too? Hmm. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done! Truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Um... Smells. Well, do you any of you smell something? Well, when partially digested food is absorbed by small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract. But whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. Yes, those are the mechanics of farting. But farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that. Wait! It smells like blood. Blood? Hmm. As Akane's nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. <coughs> it's coming from over there. A table, the very back of the dining hall. Here we go. Thumbs time. Well, that uh, is... The smell of blood. I am only able to smell the appetizing aromas wafting from the dishes. Hey! Smelling blood? How can anyone even do that? It's just her imagination, right? That's obviously what it is. That's impossible! You better hurry and check it out so we know for sure. <laughs> it's there. I can smell blood coming from that table in the back. That The smell of blood coming from that table? Hey! It's best if we go check it out, Hajime. Yeah. Let me tell you this. Mirage Goldenhawk, Jump P would like to inform you of something. From this point on, if you proceed, you may eventually regret that decision someday. If you still intend to go, I will not stop you. This is going nowhere. Sorry, my nose is super untalented. <laughs> but my ears are way talented, no joke. What the heck? Uh, the smell of blood, you say? It's probably the smell of rare steak or something, right? Or the blue? <laughs> You're like a wild dog, I can <laughs> <laughs> You've been wolfed down a ton of food. <laughs> if it's the smell of blood, I should be used to smelling it. I'm sorry! I don't know. Mm. Okay, you're you're <laughs> No 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 The smell of blood. That's weird. I didn't cook any dishes that involve rare meat. There's no way there'd be any smell of blood. Okay, that's everyone. So, let's take this into account. People are missing. We have Pekko who's missing. Yakia is missing. Uh, Furuhiko is missing. Uh, Chiaki, though, if Monomi can act as a, a witness, so to speak. Let's check back here. Smell of blood. What in the world is at that table? <laughs> it's under there. Under the table. I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth, 
and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It's obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Yeah, yeah. A knife. And he has night vision goggles. For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw. I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakia Tagami, already dead and beyond recognition. There goes a leader. <laughs> Byaku, yeah. What? Why is Byaku here? No. I just stood there horrified. My showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Why? Why? What is this? Thank you for voice acting it, so I don't have to. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! This... it's impossible! Are you kidding me?! Don't mess with me! This must be some kind of mistake! Eh? This... can't be real blood, right? It's, it's gotta be, like, jam or sauce? Cause if... not... this... Blah, 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 blah. What the hell? Good gracious, things quickly took a turn for the worse. Yahoo! <laughs> my, my, now this is interesting. Thrills, chills, kills! On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Could it be? Oh, uh, hold on. Then, does this mean... <laughs> Of course. That's right! Yeah, yeah. Was killed by one of you. What? Of course! If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. <laughs> look! He has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this... If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Hmm. Bakia was most likely sacrificed to find someone who really wanted to leave this island. Oh, lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered. The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that... I've accepted the fact that Byakuya was murdered. What, what is this? C could it be? Is that really Byakuya? Why? Why did this happen? Why Byakuya? Phew! Ah, I see, I see. It appears to be Fiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna do? So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? <laughs> A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Class trial? Hey, um... I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think the blackened is. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is. Correct! That's right! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible! It can't be. Someone actually killed. There, there's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I won't believe it. One of us killed Byakia? There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no! If you're actually thinking that way, 
it means you guys already been conned by the killer. <laughs> come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned, life risking battle between you guys and the Blackened. And it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey! What are you saying? You can't! Everyone, please, you cannot. You should not believe what Monokuma says. <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there is only ever one truth. On my grandfather's... Okay, I don't know why you said that. On my grandfather's name. Huh? You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... Brave. Hey! Brave? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's... Blade! Emergency! What happened to your grandpa to his plane crash? This is kind of depressing. I only know where to begin. At this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Ah! It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. Did you see that? The stunning, the stunning display of power. Defy your big brother and I'll show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovely doubt and dubby deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck! And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What is this? What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. Oh. Search for Byakia's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Oh, give me a break! Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um... Uh, you can't tell each other, because we're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? If we don't find out who the killer is, we're all going to get killed, right? Please wait! That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I've finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. Oh. Seriously, did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you! No, friends telling friends is a major no-no. Shut up! Shut up! Just go away already, you're useless piece of trash. Oh! Uh... <laughs> They're so scary! Do we really have to do this? But... No, I don't want to do something like th that. No! I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However... It is just as Hiyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason... Yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakia's death. I'll do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need... What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um... Uh, before you start, can I say something? Well? In close circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> this is destroyed the evidence? Pointing! Look over there! That big, bulky, briny guy is perfect for the guard job. <laughs> he still needs to go, doesn't he, Ray? Uh, what the heck ha what happened? Man. That guy has a 
sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey! Um, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body. And it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's side. That's, that's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Uh, Mahiru! Uh, uh, I'll do my best! I'll do my very best to not get in your way. Yes! I have medical training, so it's not too much trouble. I can perform, perform an autopsy, please. Um. So you're going to stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing? I have no idea. Hmm. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on the beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. Hey! So, let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakia. <laughs> <laughs> to perform an autopsy on your friend? How cruel. <laughs> I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe! I won't believe! Akia got killed. I don't believe that at all. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Fine. I'm in. You are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this. It's the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is. That's our only hope for survival. Something like this. Is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. Okay, we're going to- Ta-da! I am trying to end the set here. What are you doing here? <laughs> Ta-da! You thought it was- You thought it was time for an investigation, but- It's the Monokuma File! Hey! Hey! Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma file? I don't like this! Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones! Why you? <laughs> well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, I don't even make... I don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain! Let's see... The Monokuma contain The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? Brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. Shing! I'm so nice, I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey! Nice? You say you're a selfish meanie. What's this? My, 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 wanna meet the meaningless, meaningless mascot. You're still here. You stupid brother! You put me in the meanly, ma meaningless mascot genre? Damn it! Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. <laughs> oh, she don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. They're finally gone. One Akuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. Oh my god. Just let me end the set. <laughs> Cause of death. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30pm. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poisons were detected. So, Byakuya really is dead. Yes. I promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? Because he made that promise, that's why. And now I'll never know what you were going to say to me. I cannot talk to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distressing others and being distressed in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. 
It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be... Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? Traitor. No way. Just because he said lots of serious things, it doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Obtain the truth bullet. Oh, for the, for more, for the files. Okay. Anyway, I need to carefully examine everything. Let me in the set. That's right, I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Now we now I can end the set, and we shall investigate. Didn't expect Byakuya to be the first to get it. You know what? I think as we were investigating the kitchen and he was like taking away the skewers, I started getting a feeling like, oh, you might be the first to go. Because he's like the biggest obstacle in terms of people getting, from people getting murdered, that he had to be the first to go in that sense. But yeah, so alright. So next set on Sunday, we will be starting the investigation. And I'm trying to remember, I feel like... Because the investigation, depending, it could take a long time because the class trial itself, I remember taking a long, a long length of time as well. We'll see. Um, especially, I am just going to try... <laughs> like, I can't go four hours. <laughs> I don't want to destroy myself. Either way, we're going to here. So, thank you for liking if you liked. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya! Next time.